Guys, guess what? I got it to K Yesterday I got my Cambridge offer for a PhD. I'm so excited. I can't actually believe this. Like it's oh my god, it feels so real. Like I've just been battling, going to interviews upon interviews, but not knowing what the outcome of any is any of them are gonna be. But I finally, yeah, I've done it. I'm so happy. Oh, I'll give you a lowdown on how the interview went to be honest, but I'm just so excited. I can't believe it. Ooh, such a good day. Oh my goodness guys, I still cannot believe it. I got into, like me of all people, I got into Cambridge to do my PhD. Oh my god, like I don't even know where to start from guys. That was literally the clip that you just saw was a clip that I recorded like, I think it was a day after, like the morning after I got in because the day I received that letter, not that letter, like it was an email, it was an email. The day I received that email, it was literally, I was coming out of like an interview at Imperial. Um, and I don't even know what happened. It was so weird, like that interview, I was like, oh my God, okay. You know, Cambridge probably didn't work out, but you know, this interview didn't go so badly and I don't mind it kind of thing. But then literally as I came out, I turned on my phone I don't know what I was doing, I think I was walking to like the South Kensington um, underground station and then I literally just, <laughs> I switched on my phone. I think I got an email from the lady who obviously does all the admin stuff, like such a lovely lady. Um, and yeah, I looked at it and I was like, I thought maybe it was like a reject, not rejection, but I don't even know what I thought it would be. I just read it and I was just like, <gasps> It literally said, yay! And then it had like a letter attached to it and I was like reading it, I was like, it's actually real. And then literally I called my dad straight away and I was like, cause I knew my mom probably would not be able to pick up. But I was like, I need to share this excitement with someone. So I literally called my dad straight away and on the train. And then it was so annoying cause like the, <laughs> cause the, cause like, Cause you're on the underground, then obviously like connection is really bad. And then I was like, no, and I was like thinking, oh no, it's gonna cut off now. And I was literally just buzzing. I was reading it on the underground and I was just like smiling. I was on my way to like teach at, I think, yeah, NYU London. It was just like, everything was just happening. I was like, I couldn't even like, I didn't even know what to do. Oh my God. It was just, yeah, it was quite like, yeah overwhelming even right now i'm talking about it i'm so excited like talking about it but yeah i still honestly can't believe it the interview was it's not really a blur but yeah the interview was something hey guys just like a quick like detail of like the phd program i'm on so it's a scholarship program so kind of everything paid for because i can't pay for a phd to do a phd because that's just expensive um yeah it's yeah, it's sponsored by one of the research councils. It's basically a biological sciences PhD. Um, yeah, it's it's one I think I was look I wanted. I literally wanted because I applied for the same program in different institute like in Imperial, UCL, like in Durham, everything, Oxford. So I literally I wanted this program just because of the way the program is structured. I think I'll talk later. I have a video later about like different. PhD research programs and how you can tailor it to what you want to get out of it. So this PhD program specifically, it's, I feel like it's suited, it's tailored to me because what I want to get out of this program, I think that this program can essentially provide it for me. So yeah, that's the reason why I applied for it and literally instantly just <laughs> accepted it. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. So, oh my God, the interview experience, it was, it was in, actually I received the interview letter um, in December of 2018, yeah, December of 2018. It was, I don't know, it was, it was quite strange because it was very, very quick. Because I remember, I think the deadline for the application was maybe end of November, early December, definitely early December. And literally received it maybe, I think it was around the 19th or so um, of... December I received the the email for the interview 
and then I kept that silent, like, didn't tell anyone. <laughs> um, until like January, I think I told my dad or like my parents a week before the interview that I was having the interview because simply because um, that time, December and January was a difficult time for our family. I'm not going to go into it, but it was super, super difficult time. So I didn't, I felt like I just needed to like kind of rein it in and keep it in to myself. So I think my interview was towards around towards the end of January or so or yeah I think the second to last week of January was my interview and yeah I think I went there the day before because I was not going to risk coming in from London um, that same day as the interview so I went there the day before I slept over as you I'll show you in the video so tomorrow I have an interview at Cambridge University for a PhD a scholarship PhD and honestly, I still can't believe I'm here. It feels so real, but I'm so pleased with where I'm staying. Like, it's actually amazing for the price I paid. I can't actually believe it. I'm gonna show you around. That's my, that's my, that's my. Hey. So we have a wardrobe here. I don't need it, really. Because, yep, quite nice, whatever. Got a bath here, shower. Looks nice and clean, smells great. Me again, mirror, of course. Yes. Um, yeah, it looks all nice. We've got in here a long mirror that's needed. We've got my suitcase in my bag here. Didn't carry much. Got a nice view actually. You can't see it today, but maybe tomorrow we'll be able to show it. It's like the river right there. A couch, the bed, TV. Yeah, pretty much. Every nice. It seems nice and comfortable. I'm actually quite excited about this. Sleeping here and revising here tonight for my interview makes me feel a lot relaxed, really. And it's bed and breakfast as well, so be having breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, so nervous. Yeah, guys, as you can see, I was like literally super nervous. Um, the place I stayed was quite nice. It was cold, though I remember feeling cold, but I wasn't sure whether it was because I was nervous or because it was actually cold. But yeah, it was actually a really nice place. They had like bed breakfast provided I just wanted to be like kind of away from everything else and just concentrate I remember calling my friend in the middle just kind of like rehearse not rehearsing but kind of giving her like the structure of what I was gonna kind of say based on several questions I'll create a video for how to prepare for an interview for a PhD program and things that you should be aware of um, yeah so that day was it was there we had like obviously everyone entering you get your name badge and um yeah there were quite a lot of people surprisingly and i was like oh oh my goodness so there's only 20 spaces on this program um i i think it was about 20 spaces according to statistics anyway it was like about 20 spaces on this program there are four themes within this program um the theme i chose was the biosciences and health um so yeah there are four themes in there so i was thinking so ideally it would be about you know maybe five per theme that's realistically according to my own calculations but i don't think at that time i was thinking about it in that sort of way um until i spoke to one of the administrators and she was super lovely and everything i was like oh so yeah is this kind of like oh the only interview day and kind of thing and then she was like oh no we have one in even i think afternoon and evening today and then we have one tomorrow in the morning and evening and i was like oh snap so how many people in total are you interviewing and it was she was like um about 90 or so and i was like whoa my mouth just went <laughs> well this is gonna be a good experience um you know this was my first interview of the season so i was just like well it's just my blessing or luck to have um, Cambridge as my first one to interview for from the season and I was like thinking oh it would be nice to have like one <laughs> beforehand that I could practice on and I did literally I had no practice interview like no mocks nothing in preparation for this interview so it was just kind of I went in there and it was that was just it but it was actually quite relaxing. We had a presentation at the beginning. They had tea, coffee. I mingled with like some of the other guys who are also on the program as well, um, which is so good because like, you know, it's so weird. Like 
seeing those people you were talking to and you were nervous all together, seeing them on the same program as you, it's it's quite great. Um, yeah, so yeah, I spoke to quite a lot of people, tried to just mingle, trying to not really like just see where everyone's coming from, their backgrounds, and it was quite interesting, you know, seeing everyone. And you got to also speak to other people who were already on the program. I was quite fortunate in the sense that I had. Um, one of my friends who was in my previous lab, um, Orla, thank you so much Orla, um, who I'm going to show, show right now, who was sending me, I'll show you a video basically, of her basically showing me around her college, Jesus College. But it looks really stunning just the way it looks. She basically was able to like, you know, give me a bit of like some tips because she was already on that program. Um, although in a slightly different format, but yeah, it was on that same program a year ahead of me. So she gave me loads of tips, Was managed, managed to calm me down and just, you know, um, thing. And she was so great because she asked me, do you want to meet the day before your interview so we can talk? Or after, I was like, <gasps> Yeah, I'd like to be after the interview. I just wanted to like just be in my own bubble um, on that day. So literally, I ha that was my first time actually being in Cambridge as well. I've never been to Cambridge beforehand, um, and it was so beautiful. Well, I wouldn't say it was be like the bit I saw of it, and up to this day, I have not actually gone back to Cambridge. Um, I didn't really. S I saw quite a bit, but I think I was just in my own kind of own space even after the interview i was still thinking about other things because i also had another interview at the end of the week i was just have, like it's so weird because when you have phd interviews they all kind of cluster around the same time so you're constantly having one interview after another after another after another so i was just like okay this is the first one done um there are loads of things that i forgot to say or i should have said but it's okay and you're just like oh my god i could have said that i could have said this i could have said that but i think at that time you just can't think like that i gave it my all um about the interview itself it was literally so they they called you had your own time schedule which they told you in at the beginning of the day so obviously everyone's just talking to each other kind of thing and then they call you, like one of the administrators will call you up and say, oh, this is, and take you up to the room where you have the panel and the people there. So I went, I went into the room and usually the panel is like three people. Um, <laughs> but for me, it was four. It was also the director of the program who was in my panel. I was like, <laughs> great, this is wonderful. If I wasn't scared already, I'm now scared now. But it was great because I met her before the interview and she was absolutely amazing. She's such a lovely lady. And yeah, it was yeah, it was quite good. So I, I managed to try and calm myself down. Um, and I remember seeing a paper on the table and I was like thinking, oh my God, like, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, I think you're asking me like, you know, like, calculation questions or stuff like that but luckily for the interview I did not even need that bearing in mind you have to think about when you're doing a PhD you're you're fighting for the space at the uni as well as the space for funding so it was kind of like you know it wasn't a fight obviously it's not like a fighting but whatever like if you get what I mean like when I think about it afterwards I'm like wow this is why it's an intense process you know but anyway this, um, the panel I had, um, which was consisted of four people for like, the the program was interesting. Um, in terms of the questions, everything feels like a blur. I feel, I wrote them down actually, I did write them down because obviously this was my first interview. So I'll have a separate video for preparing for interviews and questions that could potentially be asked. But I think what helped me was I was quite honest in terms of my, excuse me, in terms of my answers to like various questions they asked. I took my time. Um, I remember where I got flustered was, they. I think one of the panelists asked me, um, oh, what recent paper have, have you read? Bearing in mind, I had been reading papers up on papers like prepare, preparing for this interview. And I got to that point and I was like, uh, even the night before, I was reading papers. I was literally reading papers about my project, my 
master's project that I could like obviously prepare for because you know certain things like that and I literally forgot but I took my time I just took a minute to pause and I sat down and I was like I have read quite a lot of papers but honestly I feel like I can't remember I literally just said that straight away and I told them I just can't remember but then later on something just clicked and I was like oh I read this paper about this blah 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 it was released in blah 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 I didn't know the art, art like the the authors but I knew the article it was I knew what the title was about and I was able to explain it eventually um yeah so that was one bit I thought oh my god I messed up but I think the feeling I had when I came out of that interview I was very very happy so I came out of that interview smiling um, I wasn't like, but then again, I do come out of every interview smiling anyway, because I think you either cry or you laugh, but I felt like I didn't have the space to cry or dwell on it because you have several coming up. So you need to just snap out of it and yeah, move on to the next one. So that I think that was the mentality I had, even though I was like smiling a lot. I was like, <laughs> it was good. Um, yeah, and I went back and I just mingled with other people till I met Ola who then kindly showed, we went for brunch and then she kindly showed me I don't think I even had the appetite, I'm not sure I ate anything I just had like maybe a chai latte or something like that, I just had something but yeah I just didn't have, and we managed to catch up and she managed to get me a bit distracted from everything which was lovely, she showed me around Jesus College and that was really really good, it was amazing, such a beautiful college um, massive um, but I didn't choose Jesus College because in terms of choosing the colleges I wanted to go to um, I chose I think Emmanuel and Downing because I was like thinking about proximity to the centre of Cambridge because I was like I don't want to be far away and I love Downing because it was the same architect who built Downing College that built UCL as well so I was like ooh you know and they look very the same and Downing is absolutely beautiful even though I haven't been there yet at all but from pictures it looks amazing um yeah i'm quite excited guys like it's a new experience it's going to be very challenging i know um and this is essentially why i, I started not really essentially why i started youtube like per se i think i would have started youtube regardless like i wanted to pursue a phd so i would have started it anyway but i feel like this is extra special as well because you know Cambridge is one of the best universities in the world not felt like I was gonna I wanted to take people on my journey in terms of PhD like I'm going through my PhD journey and that's what essentially you guys are gonna be seeing like how I nav navigate through the space of Cambridge I would have been happy I would have done the same thing if I went to Imperial if I went to King's if I went to UCL or whatever else I applied for I would have done exactly the same thing because I think it's I haven't seen many people make like a video about my PhD experience which I found very difficult when applying because I was like oh you know this is I want to hear someone you know tell me about the experience so I think this is what I'm doing this for and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this journey with me and honestly I still can't believe it right now that I am going to Cambridge University to do my PhD um, me of all people I just I just can't it's been it's been you know it's been hard in terms of getting here I wouldn't say my journey has been smooth you know I pretty much failed my A levels uh, went to Kingston University actually Kingston University gave me a chance uh, through clearing as well <laughs> um, they gave me a chance I made sure I made sure I did the best I could at Kingston University got my first class, um, went from Kingston University, decided to go to UCL, apply last minute, um, um, got in, um, went through some challenges in terms of working and studying at the same time, doing research at the same time, managed to scrape a distinction even though I failed one of my exams. Um, it was, yeah, it's been, it's, it was a journey and then Obviously having setbacks from last year not being able to secure a PhD even though I had like a couple of interviews last year um, and then You know working at Imperial and then New York University and Then just getting here. It's it's been a journey. It's 
you know, I think life is all about progression. You don't have to get there, you know, instantly. So everyone basically has their own journey, has their own, you know, direction that they're following in life. Everyone's journey is not going to be the same, you know, but we have to enjoy the process try and be the best that we can be as i always say in anything that we do try and strive to achieve the best that we can there because then you have no regrets and you'll never be disappointed um and yeah just you know strive on you know i think you know i'm a work in progress um you know i keep working 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 hard and you know it's paid off it's got me to this point and hopefully i keep working hard i keep you know strive in to be the best never lose faith and courage and you know all that jazz and i could go on and on but you know i'm just quite happy i'm just happy where i am right now and i honestly still can't believe it it still hasn't sunk in yet um even though i found out in in i found out all the way in february <laughs> and yeah now we're in september and i'm like yeah still can't believe it and honestly i have to say i just even said like the time scale i sincerely apologize to my family and friends who are watching this right now thinking oh my god you knew all the way in february and you only told us in june or july or august honestly i've just kind of kept it all true so the only people who knew were like maybe two other friends um and then my lab colleagues and stuff like that because they already know knew the process and then when i got to bushcraft my summer job um i literally just started saying it because i was like oh you know this is a space where i can just say it whatever yeah because everyone keeps asking like when you meet people everyone wants to find out about you and you know what you're doing and stuff like that so it's kind of natural just to be like oh yeah i'm starting a phd and they ask where and i'm like oh yeah cambridge and blah 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 so but family members have not like they didn't know until like i don't even think yeah family members it took a while maybe august before i started telling some people in the family i didn't even tell them myself i think my mom or my dad probably told them so yeah i just kind of kept it kind of stream and away from a lot of friends as well which is bad but guys you must understand why i've just yeah i've just kind of just tried to just get on with things just by myself i'm quite independent as it is so um yeah i just kept it stream until i'm here <laughs> yeah but guys um yeah guys i don't even know what to say i'm just happy um i'm excited i'm nervous as you must understand you know going to a new environment and everything moving out again um yeah it's it's gonna be good i hope this journey is gonna be wonderful i hope you guys come on this and hop on this journey with me um through my time at cambridge university i honestly can't wait uh yeah guys <laughs> i don't even know what to say guys but yeah i can't believe it yeah just you know like i say dream big you never know i've always been a big dreamer even though i don't actually have literal dreams but i aspire and think about being the best you know i know when i finished my a levels i never thought about going to cambridge it never occurred to me that i would be able to go to a university like cambridge it was never like a dream or anything that i ever thought about you know my first choice in on my undergrad was queen mary and the second choice was kill university i literally cambridge never occurred to me even ucl or even imperial haven't been opportune to be in those spaces i'm so grateful and i feel so blessed i i just can't even believe how far i've been able to come from being at thomas small catholic school um and navigating my way where we were excited for i think a girl um called katie who was the first person ever to go to cambridge from my university um not from my university from my high school and everyone was like wow katie's going to cambridge and then we had another girl called natasha um yeah i honestly can't believe i'm gonna be one of them you know yeah <sighs> It's quite, it's going to be exciting. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's not as detailed 
as it could be um, but I'm definitely going to make more videos in terms of like interview preparation, picking different programs, PhD programs. Yeah, but guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. So if you want to keep seeing some more of me, add me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and just keep following my journey. And also subscribe to my channel and put in the comments what you want to see some more of. I hope you guys have a wonderful, lovely, beautiful, fantabulous day. And you guys stay blessed, dream big, and keep being inspired, guys. I love you guys, take care, bye.